Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm like I said, I'm going to show you the food, Nigerian food. So jollof rice and stuff. Uh, I want help you guys. You like it? Tell me if you, it looks good. I know you can test it. I will test it and tell you if it tastes good. I hope you guys will like it. So I have the chef. So what's your name? My name is Omoshon Wadi Joke from what? Nigeria. Omoshon Wadi Joke. Yeah, that's a very hard name. <laughs> to pronounce. Okay, my name is Hope Omotion Wadijoke. Hope Omotion Adijoke. Adijoke. Yeah. And your name? My name is Omola Roduashi. Omola? Omola Roduashi. Omola Roduashi. Yeah. So those are Nigerian names? Yeah, yes. That's, name. that's very That's hard. our name. <laughs> okay, so tell me about this is jollof rice? Yes. This one? Yeah, that's jollof rice. So guys, this is jollof rice. This is peppered goat. Peppered yeah. goat, yeah. This is how you eat your goat in Nigeria? Yes. With all the pepper and stuff? Yes. Yeah. So how do you make this peppered goat? Uh, you boil goat. Yeah. Then you prepare pepper. Yeah. Moho. Yeah. Onion. Yeah. You mix together, you fry, then you dip, uh, dip your meat inside. Okay. Yes. What about jollof rice? Jollof rice is a long process. But it's a sweet process. Yeah. You blend your pepper, yeah. your onions, your uh, ho ho. Yeah. After that, you boil it. Yeah. After boiling it, you fry yeah. with uh, oil, yeah. uh, cooking oil. Then you put your spices inside. Um, then you pour your rice inside. Yeah. You mix together. Then you leave it. You cover it. You leave it for some minutes. Okay. Then it's done. Yeah. Right. You guys love jollof rice, yeah? So much. It's, your it's our food. favorite food. Yeah, in Nigeria and Ghana, Nigerian right? Or and the whole of West Ni Africa? In West Africa. Mm, mostly Nigeria and Ghana. So between Nigeria and Ghana, which is the best? Nigeria, you should know. Are you just saying that because you're no. from Nigeria? <laughs> I feel you're saying that because you're from no. Nigeria. Because you I taste it, you, you realize that Nigeria jollof rice is the best. But I'm going to test Nigerian. Yeah. I won't test Ghana, so I'll just choose so Nigerian. Ghana, but I saw some video of a guy. Okay. He tested all of them. He yeah. said Ghana was the best. No. <laughs> he was biased. He was shitting you. So he was biased. Yes. <laughs> okay. What about this? That's a good thing. Soup. A good soup. With goat inside. Yeah. Meat goat, the intestines? Yeah. Yes. Meat. Yeah. The intestines. The intestines inside. We mix with fish, catfish, dry oh, so catfish. So there is catfish here? Yes, yeah. dry fish. I dry thought, catfish. I thought, so this is catfish? This is catfish. I think I know because my mom sells catfish. Something here, yeah. This yeah. catfish. Yeah, this one, yes. yeah. Dry yeah. catfish. Yeah, that, so that, that you put catfish, yes. intestines. Yeah. What about the yellow stuff? The yellow stuff now is the melon for the egusi. That's what we call egusi. So this is called egusi meat? Yes, egusi, egusi soup. Egusi soup? Yes. Oh, that's nice, guys. Yeah, no problem. And this one? That's pandu. Pa? Pandu yam. Pandu yam. Yes. It's made up of yam, from yam. Yeah, I, I told you. When, I, when it came, I smelled yam. Yeah. It's so yam. it's made of yam. Yes. How do you prepare it if you can um, summarize that? Like uh, when you boil yam, yeah. you pound it, it becomes like this. Wow, nice guys. Yeah. So let me ask you, uh, how long have you been in Kenya? Uh, like myself, yeah. I've been in Kenya for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, I've been living in Kenya for 10 years. And, and I've been cooking. Me, this is my fourth year. Your fourth year? Yeah. So that's a long time to be in Kenya. So how are you, how are you guys, how do you guys like Kenya so far? It's nice. It's nice. Like me, I'm married to a Kenya. So nice! I'm, I'm a Kenya. Let's just say I'm yeah, a Kenya. For you, there's no going back. <laughs> I'm not going back. Yeah. When you yeah. get married to a Kenyan, there's no going back. Yes. What about her? Mm, she's just new here. She married to a Nigerian, but she, she's with her family here. Oh, the husband of her. Yes. Yeah. So the, this place is called Ma. Hmm? This place is called. Um. It used to be Mommy Dadas. Yeah, I love that name, Mommy Dadas. Mommy Dadas. That's yeah. Yoruba name. Yeah. So guys, this place is called Mommy Dadas. If you want Nigerian food, authentic African food, come to Mommy Dadas. It's located. Oh, 
Yeah, right now it's called. Five, yeah, but if, if if you search on Google Maps, yeah. you will get Momidadas. Yeah. Yeah, so use Momidadas. Yeah. When you use Momidadas, even people around here, I, I, I realize they, they remember the name Momidadas. Yeah, yeah, Momidada, yeah. yeah. So just search for Momidadas. When you get there, you will, when you get here, you will know the other name, which is 105. 105 James yeah, Kishuru. 105 James Kishuru. Yeah. yeah. So it's located along James Kishuru Road yeah. in Lovington. So guys, as you have heard from the ladies, this is the best Nigerian food. We are going to test it with my friends. I hope you guys like like it. <laughs> I, I would like to say this on the behalf of the restaurant. Please, come to Mommy Dada's if you yeah. can. Come feel the food. Yeah, come feel the food. Come eat African food. Yeah. Don't just eat Western food all the time. Yeah. Sometimes take your time, eat right. African authentic food, <laughs> go to a Nigerian restaurant, yeah. Ghana or Uganda yeah, or stuff. Yeah, yeah. Taste different types of African food. Yeah, yeah. It's good, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, how much does this cost? Mm, like jollof rice yeah. is 600. Jollof rice is 600 Kenyan shine. Kenya shine. The pepper is 800 Kenyan shine. Yeah. And so let me explain to them for those who are, don't know the Kenyan money. Okay. So this one is jollof rice is 600 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. That's approximately $6. Yeah. Peppered meat is eight, 800. 800, which is approximately $8. Yeah. The, the egusi soup. Egusi soup. Uh, egusi soup packaging with the, the swallows. Any types of swallows you want. It's either eba or pandegiam or semolina or amala. It comes from each soup. So the price? Have, yeah. $1,200. $1,200. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. The price is not that high. Yeah. And the ingredients you get them from here. Yes, uh, from you ship them from Nigeria. Some you ship from, from, from Nigeria. Nigeria, yes. But you can get goat meat here. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> Rice you can get here. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Intestines you can Intestine get here. Intestines you can get here. Yeah. Even yeah. meat you can get there, but uh, the melon, the uh, egusim mm. melon, you have to get it from Nigeria. There's no uh, egusim melon no. in Kenya. Is it, it is not the same melon I know. No, 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 not that melon. Melon. no, 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 with jollof rice. Jollof rice. So we have another soup, not only this one, we do uh, we offer the sauce, we do uh, <coughs> a porridge, yam, we do a foriro, a fang, okra, bono, those merengue. We also we do, do moi 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 moi. Yes, what we, we do those moi ones moi. also. Not only these, we have different types of African Food, dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Rice so, and beans, our beans, yeah, our local soup. Yeah, we have a fan soup, a bit of Yeah, we have a way to and the giri. Wow. Yeah. Oh, everything. You a sell all those here? Think from Nigerian. You can, we, anyone can get it here. Yes. yes. Guys, you can hear this. You want anything from West Africa, Nigeria, especially? You can get it here. Mm. So come over to mm -hmm. this place. Enjoy. I want our phone number. For the restaurant, I'll I'll I'll, I'll put, put that on the description. Okay. You'll give them you'll give them to okay. me. Okay. I'll put it. So guys, I just want to make it clear, this is not a paid promotion. I love promoting African. I love promoting our way of life and our culture. So I'm doing this for free, so you guys can know this place. You guys can get to enjoy, it. and you guys can come the, here when you want. If you feel you want to eat Nigerian food. So can I ask you something that is not related to this food, but okay. related to Nigeria? Okay. Oh, from you do you know Wodemaya from Ghana? Huh? Wodemaya from Ghana? Yes. You know Wodemaya? No. Are you sure? Yes, I used to watch him on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> my husband's my husband favorite. He likes that guy. He yeah. goes round. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he goes all over African countries yes. and stuff. Yeah. 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 There was true. a time he was in Kenya also. Yes, I, I watched the ones in Kenya. Even Tanzania, he go all by now in that black. Yeah, I would like to one day travel like him. Like him. Yeah, go to Nigeria, Ghana, yeah. okay. South Africa, Cameroon. Okay. Yeah, promote Africa. Okay. okay. Show Africa in a different yeah. perspective. Yeah. yeah, people don't think we have this nice yeah. African food. Yeah, when they think it's African food, they think we eat, I don't know what. What is their, what is their own perspective yeah. of what we eat. Yeah. 
This is what we eat, guys. Prepared goat, jollof rice. And we have plantain also, which is called dodo in our language. We have it's called dodo. Plantain, dodo. Yeah, plantain, yeah. Hmm, that's nice. Yeah. So I oh I wanted to ask you something that is not related to the restaurant or the food. Okay. Mm, what is the difference between Kenyan culture and Nigerian culture? The one that you have seen, the differences. Uh, the difference like, to me. Yeah. Apart from uh, food, that is. Yeah, I've been here for ten Dressing. years. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Yeah. Uh, in the aspect of respect, yeah, respect in Nigerian. Mm. Like now, you want to talk to your your the elder, let me leave it down to your parents, yeah. the elderly people. Yeah, like now maybe she seniors me. Yeah, I have to respect her by calling her auntie in, in with, without uh, mentioning her name. Yeah, I just hey sister Lara. Yeah. Because I know she's older than me. Even yeah. if it's one year in yeah. Nigerian, yeah. you have to respect. But here, no. Yeah. <laughs> Even here, you call your mother your uh, yeah, names. Yeah, but it's rare. Even me, I will call then, my mom by name. And then, if you want to like greet your parents yeah. or your elderly people, yeah. what I realize yeah. is no. Here yeah, you, you, you just the way you read. I don't, I don't same, know how to describe. It's the same in my country. It doesn't matter. Yeah? The age doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, especially in your country and Central American and Caribbean and those parts of the world. Yeah, I, I feel like. Yeah, but even here in Kenya, we have some level of respect for the parents or people okay. older than us, okay. but. We don't show it as much as you guys. Sure. Or like example in Uganda, their women have so much respect. Okay. Yeah. So there are some things they yeah, will like, do. Yeah, uh, like like my mother-in-law now. When yeah. the, the first time I met her, well, the way I greeted, even my husband would have to explain to them this is how they greet in Nigeria. So you people don't you shouldn't be surprised how she what she's doing when i want to serve them i have to bend down yeah yeah, yeah. because they are my mother-in-law yeah. they are like my yeah. parents yeah even so here we we, we we also respect our mother-in-laws mm -hmm. because they are also like our parents yes so that i figured we have in common with nigeria i realize we have so many things in common with nigeria yeah. except you guys you take it to you take it too so, serious yeah yeah here we take it a little bit serious like if i was with my mother-in-laws and my parents yeah. i would behave differently yes. there are some things i would have to consider when talking and stuff yes. i can't call my mom by her name yeah. that i can't okay i won't say for the whole of kenya yeah. but from my tribe yeah. you can't call your mom by her name okay. you have to call her mom or mother or anything yeah even your dad you can't i i don't remember the last time i called my dad by his name yeah. even my mom okay yeah it's very long time if you if you are we were young and we will call our mom by her name, you will get a slap <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Even older people than you, you call them you, like your mom comes with a visitor yeah. and you call the visitor by name. You have to call them with some you know, some respect. respect. Yeah, like auntie like you say. Yeah. So we have some other things in common with Nigeria. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> so you are married to a, a Kenyan guy. Yes. How is it different with the Nigerian guys? Uh, so different. So different. Yes. Uh, are we good looking or no? <laughs> in, in the aspect of looking, no more. What? Not not much different. Yeah. But in the aspect of how personal, they treat you, how you treat people, yeah. how you relate to people, yeah. it's totally different. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kenyan weather with the Nigerian weather, the differences. Yeah, here yeah, it's cold, as it's hot. Very, uh, here yeah, it's very cold. It's, Nigeria is just like Mombasa. Oh. You know Mombasa, you, yeah. you, you you enter a house, you find fun. Yeah, yeah. But here in Nairobi, there is no fun. Yeah, even in, like in your country, Antigua, it's hot. It's hot, yeah. yeah. But it's, but it's breezy all the time. So. Oh, okay. Also, that helps. That helps to cool it here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Mombasa, it's very hot. Yeah, very hot. <laughs> Even in Nairobi, sometimes the the months of summer, the but you can't compare like yeah. Nigeria. Yeah, but Nairobi is cooler. Yeah, it's actually yeah. so called the uh, place of cool waters. That was the name okay. for Nairobi. Place of that is how they describe it. Okay. Yeah.
So the other last thing I would like to say is thank you guys for actually agreeing to, the, to be on this video. Um, I'd like you to tell my viewers to subscribe if they are from Nigeria, especially. Yeah. Guys, if you're from Nigeria, please, please comment below. Subscribe, like, yeah. comment, reflection, yeah. yeah. and subscribe. So, please. you have any sisters something yeah they are all yeah they are all if i want one i have to go to nigeria yeah to pay a dowry before you put one so i go with the diary yes okay so i i think i think i'll, I'll be going to nigeria next <laughs> yeah please because i want a girl from Nigeria since yeah. they know how to cook jollof rice yeah. and I like especially this combination this combination of jollof yeah. rice and peppered meat yeah. I like this one so much so I'll get a Nigerian woman yeah. who can cook this maybe enjoy it yeah yeah so thank you guys uh, thank you for the kind of love you have shown to my video and to, to me uh, there was a time when I was waiting for the food, I was growing out of patience, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. Yeah. yeah, I can see it's worth it. Yeah. And one yeah. thing, even he was one thing we do me. a la carte, we don't do it there, down there. Do? We, do it, we do it fresh. We oh, so fresh you, you cook when there's someone orders? Yeah, food. when you order it. We not don't, not that not you cook and keep it so that no. come. Guys, so you hear that? That's a good thing because you get fresh food recently cooked that's that's a good thing yeah, so it was worth it working yeah 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 so thank you guys welcome yeah